So if you want to look at your specific unmet hours, and this is something that we didn't point out, I actually want to do a separate video on unmet hours. Um, I started creating a manual on unmet hours once upon a time, and uh, the manual was soon 25 pages, and I was like, no one's going to read it, so what's the point? So anyway, so if you go to the AirSight HVAC, and we select our AHU, and then we go to Summary, this will tell us our unmet hours. And so we never did troubleshoot unmet hours on this, though um, we were within, we, we are under 300. The only difference is that this could not exceed the baseline by 50. And so what's the number one reason for unmet hours, unmet heating hours? It's typically just because it's a VAV system. And a VAV system has unmet hours because of the reduced airflow. And so depending on the cooling to heating ratio, we hard coded in the 0.4 CFM per square foot. And, and depending on the ratio, that might not be enough um, based on the supply temperatures. So um, how do we troubleshoot this? One of the cheats that I use to troubleshoot on my hours, let's go back to the summary. What you're supposed to do to eliminate unmet hours, get to that, let's just look at one room, um, which is 103. Well, what you're supposed to do is just go into its system and increase this ratio. That's right out of uh, 90.1, 2007. And so we could just go up to 1.35. In my opinion, that doesn't really solve anything most of the time. So I'll show you a trick that I use. And so we looked at the room and it was 103. Well, commonly, if you're just changing the plug loads so that uh, it's 25%. Well, commonly, each room is going to have a different number.